Joe Vasquez, with how retailers in different counties are getting ready to follow some pretty different rules. Starting tomorrow, retail shops here in Burlingame and across most of Northern California are going to be able to reopen with some modifications, but not every Bay Area County is the same. All clean and ready. Sam Maloof and his wife Gloria are getting ready to start selling clothes again tomorrow for the first time in months. It's like a soft opening. It's a step right? forward, right? Instead of yeah. completely closed, it's a step forward. It will be a baby step because it has to happen curbside. They estimate sales at their family run retail clothing shop in Burlingame will be about 10% of normal at first. Still, they say their primary focus is on the health of their customers. That's the last thing we want them to get sick. We need sure. them. <laughs> Just like and our family. they need us I mean, and a, our family. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's both sided, right? It's our clients and it's our staff and it's our, our families at home. Grocery stores, restaurants, and other places deemed essential have been open all along, but starting tomorrow, depending on the county, most retail shops in the Bay Area that are not inside malls will now be able to sell to customers curbside. That includes clothing stores as well as shoe stores, bookstores, and many others that have been shut down from the COVID-19 crisis. Each area is different. It seems like overall the San Mateo County, uh, Burlingame in particular where we are, has been a pretty safe thing. There hasn't been a lot of cases and a lot of deaths. But one county south, it's a different story. These shops in Mountain View are closed today and will remain closed tomorrow. Santa Clara County health officials have not announced any changes to the health order. I really would hate to take a step forward and have to take two or three steps back. So if we have to wait a week or two, um, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Carlos Diaz runs Night Sounds DJ record store in San Jose, which he has superimposed in the background of our Zoom interview. He is also a director of the Alum Rock Business Network. He says county health officials will eventually need to have better communications with business owners. Otherwise, jealousy of neighboring counties will take over. I think that is some of what's happening is you start feeling left behind and then you start making justifications uh, for why you can and should bend the rules. If you're too stringent, I think all hell could break loose. So we don't want that to happen. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.